Hi, I'm back with another tutorial. And I just discovered this last night in my head when I was about to go to sleep. It just popped in my head. I tried it today and it worked. And I'm excited because it's faster and a lot less complicated. I know a couple people had some issues. Okay, so let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm referring to page um, 450 in this book right here. And it's figure 354. Um, there's different grade rules with different brands. You can come up with your own grade rules. Uh, it's a little bit of a complicated thing, but there are general grade rules. Um, and the general grade rules that I'm using from this book are on page 450. Uh, it's, oh, you can get it on your Kindle right now, so that's pretty great. Um, for this, I'm going to use this pattern that I made real quick. Um, the notch is probably off a little bit, but we're not going to pay attention to the not notch. I'm just going to show you method. So, first things first, um, you want to go to Preferences, General. We want to make sure the keyboard increments are at 0 .0625, as I've mentioned in another tutorial. Um, this means one-eighth of an inch in decimal increments. So... Do it in your calculator if you want. Do 1 divided by 16, and that will come up. And that's how you find out a decimal for something like 1 16th. If you want to find out the decimal for 1 8th, then you would do 1 divided by 8. So hit OK. And of course, you want to make sure your guides and grid is at 1 inch every 8 subdivisions. Um, and if you hit that and it's still not showing up, you might want to go to View. And then, um, where is it? It would be like show grid. Okay, so this says hide grid. You'd want it to say show grid. Now let's get started. We've got our increments set. We've got our two points set. We got no fill and we got black pen. Good. So we want to hit the line segment tool because we're going to be cutting this into perfect lines. So following the book on how the book does their grading, which is a little bit different than mine, but since you can see the book online, we'll just go by this book for now. You want to split it directly down the middle by holding shift and then splitting it. And then we want to split the sleeve cap here. So we're going to hold shift and split the sleeve cap. I'm having, I always have a hard time. I think I have a speech impediment. <laughs> I don't care. And then we're going to split this here and we're going to split this down here and then we're also going to be splitting the sides so we're going to hold shift split here and then we're going to hold shift and split there you don't want to cross the lines within the pattern if it crosses outside the pattern that's fine because you're going to hit the black arrow you're going to select everything then you're going to hit divide over in Pathfinder and it does this beautiful fun exciting thing uh, oh and then you wanna ungroup so you can either hit command shift G or you can go to object and hit ungroup using shortcuts is better because then you start getting really good at it and you get real fast um, now testa it's ungrouped Grab a wire. Okay. It is ungrouped. So now this is where it gets fun, fast, and easy. Hopefully easy. First, let's split um, the horizontal lines. We'll take the sleeve cap first. We're splitting this line at an eighth. So a sixteenth will go into an eighth twice. So we're going to go up once, up again. So that is an eighth. And then if you are like, I don't believe you, then go ahead and take this, zoom in on it, and you can see, well, it's not right on the eighth line, but this box represents an eighth, and you can see that it's at an eighth. So, oh, I told you. Um, just kidding. So, let's go back in and finish this grading. Now, again, this line splits at an eighth, so you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna, wanna gonna, Select all this on top, go up twice, and that is split at an eighth. Now, you wouldn't want to 
just hit the middle and then go up twice because then you obviously just you just sealed the deal over here and that doesn't work so you want to make sure that you select everything above that line and go up twice to give it that eighth inch gap and then this is getting split in an eighth so you can either select down here and go down twice to split that open an eighth or I mean, if you want to select all this, if it makes it easier on you, then you can just go up twice here. Same thing. No matter where the way you do it, it's the same thing. Now, we want to split this line here a complete one-fourth. So we're going to pick everything on this side, and we're shifting it to the right one-fourth. Well, one-sixteenth goes into one-fourth four times, so we are going to hit to the right one two three four four times and now we got our nice one fourth inch split in the middle and now finally these guys over here I call everything guys it's just my thing I when I watch my videos I notice it and I try to stop it it doesn't work so that's just who I am so we're going to split this in eighth so select everything over here we're going to the left four I mean two, sorry. We're going to the left two times because one sixteenth goes into an eighth twice. And then same over here. Oops, you gotta make sure you select everything. You have to be very mindful of what you select because it makes a difference. And now that is split open of sixteenths. Now, that is it for the grade on this. So here comes another fun part. Well, I, I think it's fun. Um, you want to clear out every line in the middle. Oops. You want to clear out all, oops. You want to clear out these lines in the middle. Only the lines in the middle. Nothing on the outside. So you just go ahead and go over them. And then select out. But you see that we're going to have these gaps. So we don't want this gap here. Our net. We don't want the extra lines there because when we go to join this, we want it to do it clean. So how do you do that? All right. Well, you just select everything, and then you hit Command J, and that will seal everything. Now, if you see it doesn't seal over here, that's probably because there's something invisible in there. Oh, that's weird. Usually there is. So hit Command J. Oh, you just have to do it again, and it's shut itself it sealed itself up now I'm just gonna clean that up which if you were grading by hand you'd be doing some cleaning up too so it's not like this wouldn't be happening anyways yeah it's good enough usually I'd be very nitpicky about that but let's just hurry up and do this so we have our sleeve now Now we want to expose that one underneath. Oops, and unlock it so we can see what actually was done. Oops, don't use that. You always want to use the, the uh, black pointer. So go ahead and put it in the middle and you can see what your grade looks like. Um, so grading is different with different people. This sleeve obviously looks like it got expanded uh, lengthwise so that it's probably goes a size up for a longer arm some companies don't grade the sleeves longer sometimes they just keep the sleeve length the way it is and just um, grade pretty much this part and then make this part a little wider but it really depends on your grade rules so grade rules are kind of like what a con what a company will determine how their demographic grows and it's it's different from demographic to demographic so there you have it. You've got your two graded sleeves. Now obviously if you wanted to not go from a small to a medium, you wanted to go from a small to an extra large, then you would like triple the amount of digits you moved or double the amount of digits you moved and then you would, as I did in my previous tutorial, you would um, do that thing I showed you where, <laughs> that fun thing where you hit this and then hit that and then hit that and then you got another pattern in the middle so that works too 
Um, it's just once you get used to grading, you'll you'll find your own thing for your brand or your own clothes or your own body, and you'll learn how to do it your way. So that's it. I just did this really fast. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I work with Illustrator mostly all day, every day. So if anyone needs help, hopefully I can help you as much as I can. All right? All right, bye-bye.